D.W. from ConferenceUSSA.com. On the call at the moment, and the camera, and back in the control room, we got Gavin. It's a two-man crew. So bear with us. First pitch to Branch. Like I said, the rain has finally stopped. We had two uh, lightning delays earlier. And Branch hits it to right field. Phil Matt is there, makes the catch. So a first major versus major team matchup coming next. The weather holds. That one's popped up. Second base gives way to center field. Corey Briggs makes the play. 79 degrees at game time. The winds come and go. The rain comes and goes. Hopefully the lightning stays away. Cody Anthony, after the foul, stands in two outs, nobody on. Swung on deep center field. Back goes Briggs, gets twisted around and makes a nice catch. Legends an A team out of Texas. Players from all over, but with a Texas feel to it. And that's Riley hitting it down into the corner. And he's going to have himself a leadoff double. Pearson, the 2024 batting title champ, as well as the 2023 batting title champ. But he set a new record each of those two years. Runner on second, he's had a huge year. 880-something on base percentage. Line drive at the shortstop. Caught. Jake Innes makes the out. Canal first pitch swinging. Base hit left field. It's going to score Riley for the first run of the game. one nothing. Bradley Jones. Runner on first. One out. Jones has a... I believe it's a hamstring injury, so he's not going to play the outfield. He's just going to hit. That ball's hit deep and gone. Two-run homer, 3 nothing. Rismondo. I have to run the bases when you hit it that far. Hit and sit in the Major World Series. Unlimited home runs. 325 down the lines, 365 to the gaps, 385 to center. Or the dimensions. All turf field. Matusik first pitch hitting through the 5 6, a base hit. Oh, Matt, you can hear the accolades. Led the major World Series in home runs twice. He also hit over 800 on base percentage this year. I believe he was third behind uh, Pearson and Philip Washington. Deep. Center field, but playable. And caught by Casey Scoggins. Runner's going to move up two outs. And Travis walks. Mac grounder to short. Ennis to second. Threw it away. Run's going to score. Runners move up. And it's... Marshburn, liner, past the second baseman. He had a shot at it. It's going to score one. Runners again on the corners. Bouncer left side, third baseman has it. Gets the force. That's Donnie Tab over there. That'll do it. And he hits that one to right. Phil so Matt makes the running catch. There it is. First hit of the game for Legends. This is a base hit to left with one out. Luke Boyster will be announced in the next game. Pops it up. Base hit. Emilio Lovato with the base hit. Three straight hits all of a sudden. And their first run. Legends is on the board down 5-1. Schleybaugh goes backside with one out. Phil Matt's under it. Runners are going to advance to second and third. Try 
Tries to get the walk and does. Base is loaded. Base Bring up the pitcher, Alvarez. Daniel Alvera. Big spot for the pitcher. Swung on, left center. Falling and caught on the run by the left fielder. Go former World Series MVP Kevin Bazet standing in against Oliver to start the bottom of the second with a strike. Infield stack to the right side. Fly ball right field could be in here. And is caught. Josh Riley back to the where are we at? Looks like uh, Riley top of the order. Second pitch hits it down the left field line. He's got himself an easy double, two for two. Swung on, left field. Back to the fence. Zoomed a little too quick there. I'm still learning. Home run. Canel pops it up. Second base, right field. Second base makes the catch. Between innings, we're going to add Mike Lacey as some color analyst, a manager of LSR. Has joined me in the booth. There's a fly out for the third out. So we'll go to the top of the third. Rismondo leading legends, 7-1. to one. All right, we're live back at the Major World Series. DW from conference, UUSA.com, joined by Mike Lacey, the manager, sponsor, the everything. You might have even been playing yesterday, I think. Were you, Mike? Un unfortunately for them, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw you out there. Branch working the cow. Oh, he struck out. Struck out looking. It's not like it's a cold rain, really, so... That no. Helps. There's a fly ball left field. It's Josh Riley fighting the wind and the rain makes the catch. And, and I think the problem is right now, I mean, anybody that's watched from 7.30 on this morning is the winds change direction about six times. Yeah. One minute they're free. Next minute the right field line's free. The next minute none of them are free. Yeah. And it, it's it never fun. Affecting the pitching, too. You can see once in a while a pitch will just get taken like two feet from where it should have landed. Well, and that's kind of what happened with Branch's pitch there. I mean, in the last 10 feet of that ball, it looked like it swept six feet across. And a backside homer. Is that Cody? Cody yes. Anthony. Now, just like that, we're kind of back to a, like a mist almost. It's Donnie, different. Donnie different setting up here point. with no uh, flags to yeah, get any no kind of flags. idea. Yeah, can't really feel the wind. You can just kind of tell by the way they're hitting. Bouncer to shorts, Marshburn. Got him at first. Matusik, first pitch, and he crushed it deep left field, and that's a no-doubter. Swung on, base hit. It's going to reset the table here for Travis Clark. I mean, he's pitched against him for me a time or two, and he's been known to hold him down under 20. So if he can do that, he's, he's did his job. Swung on, deep left. Against the wall. Off the wall. Should be a double. Upsetting. I think it was Sports Reach. It was one of their big upsets. Yeah. I mean, and that's they, a backside homer by Tyler Marshburn. Three run shot. Home run tournament. You got to like your chances. Yep. Briggs to center. Scoggins gives away to the right fielder. Schleybaugh for the out. I'm having fun during the camera, but then I look over and I see the umpire sitting over here, and I'm thinking they could challenge stuff. Like I gotta actually do yeah, a you, good job. You gotta actually do a job to to make it to where we've got some kind of angle. Yeah, there's only one. Need we got that camera there that that's on now, and we got this one. That's all we got. Bezat, right field. 
gone, just out of here. About 3.30, 3.35 mark. Riley, high fly ball to left. That's Might gonna be, be playable. Caught, and that will do it. Rosmano gets five more, they lead 12-2. Now, Legends had a nice first game, right? It's a play-in game, but, I mean, it's not like Rosmano's known for great defense. Like, they're a major team, so they can, they're more than capable. But why why does a team like this come out and, and not be able to score early? Well, and I can just speak on our faults in the past and stuff like that. I mean, you, you try to change your swing to a touch, and that's what's always made – like a roof X or even a Eli road reel where you're doing that right there. Get a couple hits, get it to the guys that can no doubt hit it out. And then at times you just have to come through with a few clutch hits to stay in the game and you got to have a ball bounce your way. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I mean, sometimes it feels like a little intimidation too, like maybe. So I just don't feel like they would have two against any other team right now. Right. You know? It's always that. And, you know, sometimes you psych yourself up to a point to where you're not doing what you need to do anymore. That well, one's in the left center. Nice running catch by Briggs, showing some good range. He never is not pitching to his defense. There's an extra base hit. Lovato, RBI. Right. Now a double A team. Bounce a right side. Pearson's on the ground. Flips to Clark for the out. First pitch swinging by Patterson. Left field. Back. And ends up basket catching it for the third out. There you see the score. 12-3. We'll be back in a moment. Because you remember Greg Cannell won the triple crown two years in a row. And we just put the greatest announcer hex on him of all time. <laughs> body you know you know uh -oh. you never know what the teams are going to do that one's by the third baseman canal with the double speaking of canal you can hit a ball 380 on this field and be out right whereas you can on a 300 that's a real difference the gaps the gaps can be get closed if the ball hangs whereas on a 300 the gap is just off the fence for a double or a home run Danny's kind of leaving everything on the outside. He better be ready to field it. Here goes Jones. Looks like right center is going to be his shot. That ball <laughs> Tournaments in this field. There's the third baseman. Got him. Well, how many good things do we need to say here about Phil Matt to put the hex on him too? Let's see. He's led the World Series twice in home runs. So he has massive power. And he had he batted third in the conference, right. 800 and some odd percent. A, a lot of years that would win you 80%. a special award this year, not even close. Yeah, I think he, he's kind of underrated this, under the radar this year, right? We tried to get him on the hit and sit, but he actually has a real job, so we couldn't yeah. get him on. But we thought he deserved some recognition. We did not hex him. It's a extra base hit in the left center. Double. I've always liked when they give the big awards to different people, but you could say, right, Pearson's a batting title, Pearson's the MVP, and he's the offensive. You, you could you tell can him. hand them all to, yeah. all to him, and but nobody I don't think, could complain. Yeah. I, I don't like handing out three awards to one guy, though, even though he deserved it. Travis, that one's down the middle. Left field, playable, and caught. That was a great idea, I think, because I think the pitcher ooh, caught Canal. Canal with the catch. Great job, great human being as well. Branch on the ground is Bubba Mack. He's got a good arm. Pearson holds the bag. Yep. I mean, most teams are flying out Sunday, anyways. Right. At least the big teams. Hotels back, especially if you're staying in one of the U-Trip recommended hotels. That one's down the middle. Center field should do it. Corey Briggs makes the catch. All right. 
It's Bubba Mack. He hits it out if it's fair. Please be fair, because the camera angle's not that great. <laughs> Could you imagine if they missed a call on a fair foul and we only have one camera? Right. We don't have that high first base camera. There's no high first base, no high third base. We've got a center field, and we've got a behind the plate view. Yeah. So. And who knows? I mean, the players on the field don't know we only have one camera. No. They might waste a challenge. We may be a little bit better off by Friday evening, but. Marsh burn to right, and it's out of here. That one carried. Could never find a way to get the same momentum back. Yep. And, you know, it comes to a point where in some way, shape, or fashion, I have to eat that blame. You know post I mean? on Facebook talking about how is Rismondo the number one seed. They have a seven and eight record in their division. Right. And they're the number one seed here for the major. And it's because they earned the right points at the right time. Right. Hall of Fame twice and Smoky. So. Right. You know, you got Hall of Fame twice. You got the Smokies. Yeah. Rismondo won both Hall of Fames, Memphis, and the conference championship. And that the conference championship put them over by over a couple edge. of points for first place. And that's one of those at the conference. Absolute towering shot by Matusis. You're so a big that, fan of timeouts, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I think that was a, was that an intentional walk? Yes. A major. And the major, I believe, yep. Did you get it? Get another one? Great play by Earl. Oh. That is a great play by Earl. Play boss. Robs him. We will play another inning. Bonus coverage of Mike Lacey. Casey Scroggins up to bat here? Yep. Scroggins, bouncer to the middle. Bazet to Pearson, who makes the catch. Oyster, it's the first pitch to right center. And Briggs makes another catch. He, um, I, I feel like the winning pitcher is automatically going to get it every time. But yeah, that's what I said. Do you, you know, do we open up one award? Versus Juno. Juno. Juno won in the back. So they're going to walk Bradley Jones. Who's had two homers this game, and they're gonna pitch to Matusik. And he hits a deep center. Ball's drifting, and I didn't see it go, but it went. I zoomed in too much. It was a That'll long do. ways out there, let's put it that way. Maybe in between the camper out there and the yellow, oh. yellow storage container. So, Rizmano gets a walk-off run rule homer here in the bottom of the sixth, 18-3. They had 10 homers. 